What's going on, everybody? Ed back with Silver Sport. We got Chuck on the line. Hey, everybody. What do you say? What do you know? Ed's got a newish released product. Yeah, newish. I mean, you know, it's a day near a week old. Uh, but my Walter Payton Kaboom has been marinating in there somewhere. Uh, yeah, absolute football. So I think I paid about 360 for these boxes. They are now pretty much 500. Uh, I guess everybody must have liked what was in them. You know, the price price shot up uh, after release day. So nothing on the bottom. There you go. It's three three mini boxes, three autos, two mems. Uh, pretty good stuff. You're gonna get Hermie going on this. There you go. <laughs> Motorboat all over that Walter Payton kaboom. Uh, yeah, so Walter Payton, th there is no Justin Fields uh, kaboom in this year's product. Zach Wilson made the cut, uh, but uh, Justin Fields did not. So, you know, that is what it is. But at least there's a Walter in there, and I would love to add that to my Walter downtown, you know. Kenneth Walker the third made the cut? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Shaquille Leonard? Oh, that's what's his name. Uh, yeah. Malik Willis? Yeah. Sky Moore? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Uh, no, Justin. You know, well, Justin doesn't sign his card, so I wonder if there's a beef between Justin and, and Panini, right? Because he doesn't, you know, all of his his autographs or redemptions, well, not all, but a, a significant portion of them. Uh, so, anyway. I, kaboom hunting. Why did you put a downtown card out there? Well, uh, oh, yeah, good catch, Chuck. Baker Mayfield for good luck, because Baker's back, people. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot this is the only downtown I've pulled out of 2021 optic so far. Uh, I got more to do, uh, but that's that's a Baker downtown we pulled at the at the card show uh, that a couple people reminded me that I that I pulled. So thanks for that. Uh, but yeah, I do have a second box of absolute that will come tomorrow uh, on Saturday with big news. Uh, on Saturday we will release the 12 days of Christmas information, what we're giving away, how we're doing that and all that good stuff. So subscribe, turn on your notifications, be ready for that, uh, and expect 12 consecutive days of videos and giveaways coming soon. So, Hermie did his- Do I gotta be in all 12 of those? Uh, yeah, Chuck, that is a requirement of your contract. No, oh, all right. <laughs> Speaking of Speaking that- Speaking of which, uh, where's the Shiba Inu, man? <laughs> your Shiba Inu? Well, I gave it all to you. It's not my fault. It's not worth anything now, Chuck. I'm pretty sure I gave you like three million Shiba Inu. You know, the fact that you didn't turn it into three million dollars is is a hundred percent on you, Chuck. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh too good. Uh, but yeah. So, uh, oh, however, uh, we did get someone. Right. We did get someone that reached out to us to help uh, finish Chuck's entire okay. optic set. Yes. So Chuck will do that. Is freaking awesome. Coming soon, hopefully, to a mail day near you. Yes, sir. Uh, okay, so there we go. Ultra rare glass and kaboom inserts. Uh, I did see someone, I think it was a 50 Cheddar Bob, or somebody pulled the pulled the uh, Justin Fields glass uh, redemption. I'm kind of curious because they're not autographed, so I don't really know why they're, they're. Oh, let me give you a shot of the box there. I don't know. I don't know why they're. Uh, well, it's made of actual etched glass, so maybe they don't want to put that in packs. Yeah, but they've done that before. Uh, yeah, so put I, actual glass in packs? Yeah, we've pulled glass cards out of an older product here, Chuck. Uh, I'm trying to remember what it was, but at least I'm pretty sure it was glass. As, as rare as it is fragile, look for top NFL stars and rookies in the lineup. Oh. Jared Goff blessing us on the front. Oh, and it's clear cellophane pack. I hate, that so much. <laughs> I hate that so much. Yeah, I know you do, Chuck. <laughs> I mean, it's just cheap too, so it's like, why are the boxes so expensive when you're just throwing cheap package? Yeah. So there should be an oh, auto. So that's a Jared Goff base card. Again, absolute is in the hobby version is always super thick. Um, that's probably a hundred point card. Do you uh, get to see the backside? Just the base card. Yeah. There you go. Uh, yeah. Again, nice, chunky, thick, thick cards there. Uh, and it's the same photo on the back, just zoomed in. Yeah, the retail version will not. Another cheap cop out. Oh, we got a cowboy on the back. Yeah, it is the same, same photo on the back. Yes, Chuck, you are correct. And that is a Zeke 
Tools of the Trade. Oh, look at that. Out of 99 with four different pieces. What is that? That's like... That's Gold, like maybe? It's like fuzzy. It's like a sweater or something. Oh, jockstrap? Yeah. <laughs> it's fuzzy. <laughs> Am I the only one who wore fuzzy jockstrap? Piece, a piece of a football, piece of a jersey, maybe piece of a glove. That is kind of cool, though. Is the fuzzy a sock, perhaps? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Is uh, it stiff? No, Chuck. <laughs> Crunchy? <laughs> uh, not for many specific gamer events. So it was cool. Uh, not as cool when... But, you know, I guess it's four different pieces of memorabilia, so... And there we go. Here's our first auto. Jeremy Ruckert. I don't know who that is, but he's from Ohio State. Jeremy Ruckert. Out of number five of 100. Ruckert. Yeah. Tight end. Of course, because we pull, you know, we pull tight ends on this channel like it is, like it is cool, right? Uh, except in the 2013 boxes when you're trying to get Travis Kelsey we don't pull tight ends then, right? Uh, out of Lindenhurst Senior High School in Lindenhurst, New York. So a hometown kid there for the Jets. Third round pick. Yeah. Oh, well, third yard pick is third round pick is pretty good, huh? There we go. Career NFL statistics as of 2022 are blank. Uh, yeah, well, there you go. How about Nick Bonito for the Broncos out of 75? 67 out of 75. Nick Bonito. Uh, Nick Benito. Yeah, I think he's a linebacker, maybe. Yep, linebacker says right on the front of the card. Just read. Nick <laughs> Bonito. All right, let me not. Uh, I'm, I'm spending a lot of time here. Get into the box number two. Give me something. Give me something good because I hope Jeremy Rucker ain't it. 17 hours ago, Broncos defensive coordinator sends a message to outside linebacker Nick Benito after one snap game. Oh. That proposed one day ago. What does Nick Benito need to do to get back on the field for the Broncos defense? Oh, geez. Jeez Louise. And so I guess with the glass inserts, you're actually hoping to see a redemption because it might be a glass card, huh? Sure, if you say so. Uh, there's Dak Prescott. And Justin Jefferson for the Vikings. And what do we got here? Garrett Wilson. That's a nice one out of 275. At least that one's numbered. Garrett Wilson's been balling. Now that uh, Zach Wilson ain't in there anymore. And a Calvin Austin the third. Who are these people you're pulling? I don't know, but that's that's the rookie premier auto, uh, RPA. Calvin Austin the third for the Steelers. And I, I, I don't think we've pulled a Calvin Austin yet all year, Chuck. Uh, out of Harding Academy in Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, uh, fourth round pick. Uh, he was drafted uh, 138th overall and placed on injured reserve on September 1st, 2022. Oh, maybe that's why we haven't heard of him, huh? Drafted. Uh, his family consists of his father, Calvin Austin II, his mother, Mimi Austin, and four sisters, Cammie B., Claudia Ruthie, Naomi Pearl, and Bella Rose. Oh. Draft Diamonds, 91 of 100, Joe Montana, pick number 82. In 1979. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Take that, Joey Montana. All right, now, so the RPA is out. Uh, one of the autographs is out. Both of your mems are out. So this is the big daddy. So this should be the kaboom, right? If you say so. <laughs> yeah. If not, then it's in the box tomorrow. Glass is always half full, Chuck. Uh, C.D. Lamb getting some cowboys here for sure. C.D. Lamb on the front. Well, now are you going to skip to the back or are you going to show the goodies here right off the bat? Oh, should I skip to the back? What was in the back? Don't be that guy. Oh. <laughs> Why are you set me up for failure, Chuck? <laughs> uh, Miles Sanders, and let's get it. Drake London. Pride of Moore Park. Uh, we have been pulling some Drake London here recently. Oh, and it's just a patch. Oh, 37 out of 49. Yeah, we only pulled one mem card, I guess, huh? Yeah, that's the second one. The first one was Zeke. Yeah, but the, the second one was, oh, well, I guess it was an RPA, right? Or whatever. And then my third autograph. You don't sound too excited. 
is Cortland Sutton. Tools oh of the trade for the Broncos. 21 out of 99. Cool little piece of glove in there. Yeah. Yeah. Is it so, sticky? Uh, no, it's not, actually. I was still talking about Zeke's sock. <laughs> yeah. So, there we go. Uh, that was a uh, woof woof, right? Like, uh, oh, wait, we got another good one here. How about a gold out of 10? Bookend 10 of 10, Zamir White. Oh. For the Raiders. Uh, so that's a good one, but I don't think we got a single card that was... Wow. Uh, <laughs> Baker is fired. He's no longer good luck on the set. Uh, so... <laughs> I dare you to flick him away like a kid reporter. <laughs> nope. You ain't got a hair on your ass. No, I like my downtown collection no matter who it is, right? So... <laughs> uh... Yeah, Jeremy Ruckert, Calvin Austin, and Cortland Sutton. Oh, my. Uh, well, luckily I got another box coming tomorrow, so maybe I'll have kabooms in there. Uh, yeah, that'll do it. Tune in tomorrow, guys, for details on the 12 days of Christmas. Uh, open hobby boxes at your own risk. <laughs> <laughs> and we will see you next time. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, everybody. And we're out.